Hey y'all, we're going to go ahead and make an easy shepherd's pie. I have two pounds of ground beef that I am frying up here in my pan. I have a little saucepan with two cups of beef stock. And we are going to put a bag of mixed vegetables in there. And we're going to start softening them up. Alright y'all, so I have this one pound bag of mixed vegetables. And we're going to go ahead and dump it in our beef stock. Let's dump our vegetables in our beef stock and we're going to soften those up for just a little bit while we are cooking up our ground beef. So if you have to go ahead and drain all your grease out of there and then you're going to add one large onion chopped. Mix that around. Now we're going to add in two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. And there's two. Now we're going to add in some garlic. Now we need one tablespoon plus one teaspoon of minced garlic. And let's go ahead and give that a stir. And let this cook for about two minutes. Let's add one teaspoon of black pepper one teaspoon of salt. Now we're going to add a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of onion powder. Now we're going to add in one tablespoon plus one teaspoon of parsley. Now we're going to add in two teaspoons of rosemary. Two teaspoons of thyme. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and stir all this together and let this cook for another about two minutes. Alright y'all, so our vegetables over here with our broth, we're going to go ahead and pour in with our ground beef. And we're going to let this cook for about three minutes. And then we are going to add in four tablespoons of tomato paste. Now you're going to need some potatoes. You want to go ahead and peel four large potatoes. You need about four pounds. So my potatoes were about a pound a piece. So four or five potatoes. And you want to peel them and cube them up. And we are going to get those boiled until they're softened. Because we're going to make some mashed potatoes to put on top of our shepherd's pie. So now we're going to take four tablespoons of tomato paste. And we're going to put it in our pan. And we're going to stir this up good. And then we are going to add in four tablespoons of flour. So let's get this stirred in here. So here's four tablespoons of flour, and we're going to mix that all together really well. And you're going to need a greased 9 by 13 baking dish. So you're going to give that about two minutes, and as you can see, the liquid is all thickened up. So now we're going to put this in our greased 9 by 13 baking dish. And once our potatoes are done, then we're going to layer those on top. I got it all. In my 9 by 13 baking dish. My potatoes are almost done and then we are gonna need some butter, some garlic powder, some salt, some pepper, and some half and half for our potatoes. I also want to let everybody know I have family cookbooks available for purchase. I'll put the link above and below the post if you want to get yourself one of those. It's over 212 recipes 
all family, plus it has a lot of stories and pictures. So we'll be back here in just a little bit to get our potatoes done. All right, y'all, so I got my potatoes drained. Now we're going to add in two-thirds of a cup of half and half. We're going to put in two sticks of butter. Now let's get some salt and pepper in here. All right, y'all, we need one teaspoon of salt, and this is a half a teaspoon measure. So one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of black pepper, And then half a cup of Parmesan cheese. And now we are going to mix this all together. So they are all creamed together. Now we're going to put this over top of our meat and our vegetables. We're going to put this in the oven at 400 degrees uncovered for 25 to 30 minutes. And I'll let you know how long it took me here in a few minutes. All right, y'all. So I'm going to pop this in the oven 400 degrees to 25 to 30 minutes. And I will see you back here in about 30 minutes. All right, y'all, so it was in there for 25 minutes, it's and it's all done. So you wanna let it sit for about 15 minutes before you start taking stuff out of it. So I will just some out here just in a minute so you can see what it looks like. Y'all, so I went ahead and cut a little piece out. It wasn't 15 minutes yet, so, but you wanna wait for the 15 minutes so it comes out a lot easier. But this is what it looks like. So give this a try. If anybody has any comments, questions, or concerns, don't hesitate to reach out. The link for the cookbook will be above and below this post. And I hope everybody has a wonderful day.